Hi, this is Dr. Gary and welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. As we move into 2012, we're just kind of getting a good start on it. I think this is a good time to talk about being prepared, being prepared for anything. You know, as we go to a ski slope, sometimes we have a flat tire, sometimes we have mechanical problems and out there in the snow we could be stranded. Do you have a blanket? Do you have a little bit extra food and water in your car just in case you're stuck there for a while? Many of us travel across the country on airlines and even buses and trains and sometimes we take nothing more than a suitcase or even a briefcase. If you're to get stranded out there, whether it's a power failure or something happens at the airport where they can't get your flight out of there, how prepared are you for that? You see, a lot of times we take for granted all the conveniences we have in life. Here in Northern California where we are located, we're prone to earthquakes and they come along once in a while and over the years there's been some serious ones. And in our area, if you live in Northern California or even California at all, and even out there in the Midwest around St. Louis, that's also an earthquake area. How prepared are you for that? Do you have a little bag where you can leave your home in case something happens to it and have some food to last you for a little while until you can kind of get organized? We hear a lot about this. There's a lot of television programs about it. We've even run commercials on our programs about being prepared. How prepared are you? You know, if you're not prepared, you become a victim. And if you have people in your care, if you have people that are depending upon you, whether you own a business and you have people working there for you, you're responsible for those people. How prepared are you at your business in case all of you are stranded there? In your home, are you ready for some kind of a disaster? Whether we lose our power for an extended period of time, whether there's something happens to our water supply, how prepared are you? This isn't to scare you. It's just to wake you up and understand this is just good business. And if this is one last thing you have to be concerned about by being prepared, it makes you positioned not to be a victim. And then you're in a position to also help other people who may have not prepared. So today, as we move into this brand new week here in the middle of January 2012, let's work on starting this year to really get prepared for anything that can happen so we are part of the solution and not part of the problem. And then also mentally prepare. Kind of have a plan in your mind on what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Just by doing that alone sets you up for success rather than failure. Now tonight on our program, NeuroNuts, which is going to be broadcasted worldwide on the internet right here at DGTV, Gabriel Stoll and myself have worked very diligently to put a program together and we actually had our eyes widely open about GMO food, which is genetically modified organisms in our food and what's happening to our food supply and how we're actually losing control of it. Tonight on the web, we would love for you to join us and even chime in with questions if you would like. That's going to be live at 7 o'clock Pacific Time right here on DGTV. I look forward to having you watch. So until tomorrow on the tune-ups, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary be prepared kind of a day. Until then, bye-bye.